my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. That argument makes no sense because it's based on a logical fallacy that improbability implies impossibility. Unlikely events and even extremely highly improbable events happen all the time. And you cannot use the fact that that event has happened after the fact to try to explain that, well, that event was so unlikely that it must have happened because the intervention of some higher power. For example, take a deck of cards, shuffle it, and now show us the shuffling that happened. That event, that one shuffling that you came up with was so incredibly unlikely that it's a one event in eight times something like 10 to the 67 possibilities. So if that one event of that shuffling of the cards was so highly unlikely, then you must be some sort of god of cards that made that possibility occur, right? Or for example, pick a real number, any real number at random. Did you choose one? Well, the one you chose, there was a 0% probability that you would pick that one because there are infinitely many real numbers. So that event was not just unlikely, it was impossible. So how could that have happened unless you are some god of the real numbers that can make this 0% probability event happen? That said, I bet you pick the number pi. 